Hey guys, welcome to today's video. The people that obviously you can tell brought us Mario's Missing has also brought us Mario's Time Machine. I don't know how this company wound up with a uh, Mario license to produce this uh, these great hits here, but uh, must have been hella good in the boardroom, right? So let's see how these are. We know Mario was missing was missing a lot of good game and was a pretty awful. But let's see how this is. All right, we got some Donkey Kong over there. We not do anything with these doors at all. Oh, we can't go in the doors. Okay, so we're just doing some. Oh, son of a! But them hitting us didn't even do anything. What is the object of this at the moment here? Let's find out. So he did that to get a pen and a quill. All right. Oh, goody. So we get to just keep doing this. We get to play, keep playing Mario Brothers. Not Super Mario Brothers, just Mario Brothers. That's it. To get some randomness. Oh, come on. Honestly, I must say that I feel that the feel of the game, except for the fact that you can't hit and I can't hit anything to save my life, actually still feels better than the original Mario Brothers. Like, he doesn't slide around like he did in the original. Jumping actually feels better. So, with that being said, I mean, that's cool and all. Okay. The name dinosaur comes from the Greek words for terrible lizard. I actually knew that. So this is another... So these are like educational gaming. Honestly, like, it looks like a normal uh, Mario game. But it is not as polished as a normal Mario game. You could just you could tell these subtle differences in control. If you see a Tyrannosaurus Rex coming, Mario, you'd better hide in that cave. Okay. Over 150 million years ago, the sky was... Yeah, okay. What the... What is the point of all, like... Like, you don't actually... 
So far, we haven't actually taken damage. This is definitely like a kid's game. Where it's just more there to learn. Like, we're not shrinking. We're not taking damage. We're not getting hurt. Yeah, like, it's Mario in spirit, but it's really not Mario in... Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm kind of sick of doing this. Like, you don't get hurt. There's absolutely no point in playing the game. You take zero damage. I was trying to jump on his head, but... Okay, so you can't. You actually still have to do the... You have to do that. There is no jumping on them. We got an apple. We're picking up random things. Maybe when we get out of here we can... Uh... So we, we have an inventory, but we can't access it. So we picked up all these things, but for what purpose? Yeah, this is a... Uh... I guess we can go down there. Maybe after we clear it, we can go down there. I don't know. We'll try that. We picked up the egg. All right. Now can we do it? Okay, so we, now we can do it. Eighty million years BC. Oh, we're at the same place again? Yeah, I mean, the, the whole fact that you don't actually get hurt kind of takes away what any little bit of video game nest there is and turns it into just nothing. Like, there's no point whatsoever if you can't get hurt. Then you just don't care. And it's the same, like so far it's just the same thing over and over and over again. They're just going to keep going. Stop. Okay, so we have to keep going through all these. Ah. Yeah, it's a, it's a terrible, terrible Mario game. Like, just not good. It's it's random. They have these random things where we just do the exact same thing over and over and over again. Picking up random items for no reason. We have no access to them. We don't even see what we actually have kept. And then we do the exact same level no matter where we go in. Like it's just stupid. I don't know who thought this was a great idea, but um, they were very wrong. I am intrigued. So we're going to go through all the... Uh... Jesus Christ. We'll go through all of these real quick. Because Lord knows they don't take but a second. And we'll grab all of the stuff that we need, I guess, for whatever purpose. So we'll just run all the way down and we'll just start from the back and work our way forward. Okay, so we did that one, we did that one. Because honestly, all this stuff looks exactly the same.
We got another quill. Alright. I guess that might have been one of the ones we've already done. Honestly, I really do not wish to continue playing this. But just for your all sake out there, we're going to do it anyways. I'm going to do it so you don't have to. A steering wheel. Okay, so that one should be there. We should have just done that one right there. Now we'll do this one. Got the egg again, so I guess we've done this one. So you can keep doing these, unfortunately, over and over and over again. Okay, so we did that one, right? So, should be stop sign right here. Yeah. So we did that one, we did that one, we did that one, we just did that one, so now we'll do this one. Son of a biscuit, really? Another one with an A, like, this is so just, oh my god, it's bad. Okay, so we just did that one, now we'll go do this one. Here's the apple again. Okay, so we just did that one, we just did that one. So the last one we have is this one right here. We got the torch again. All right. All right, so we picked up everything. We've done all these stupid uh, rooms. And it's still, like, what in the ever-loving hell? Like, is there actually purpose to any of this, or what? Yes, we picked up the throne again. We go to the same... Does anything change at all here? No, so we're looking at the same... Like, this level is exactly the same no matter where we go in. Well, there's nothing we could do. Oh, there we go. That's what we... Oh, look at that. Okay. But we can't actually... But we can't change, like, it's doing nothing. Alright, so do we need to go and get... I, I, Alright, which one had the egg? Do we only get a certain amount of these things, or what? I don't, I really don't understand half of the purpose of all of this. 
I think this one had an egg in it. I think this one had the egg. Nope, this one had to quill. All right. So let's go find the fudging egg. I think, I want to say this one had like the apple. Yeah, apple. All right. The apple's not what we want. So this is almost the same as Mario is missing. Like, you don't run around a town, but the picking up the random items and then having the kind of Mario 3-esque aesthetics, but yet um, none of the gameplay is a lot like this. It's like they did two of the same game, just uh, instead of being in a town, we just get to do this constantly, which is um, stupid as all hell. All right, the wheel. We don't need the wheel. So it's it's a it's a learning game. Like I think this is a lot to do with obviously with the fact that we don't take damage. I think it's all based on the fact that uh, this is definitely a learning tool for kids. I think it was still done very badly. Oh Jesus! How is this one the quill again? Where's the egg at? I could have swore that the egg was over here. We got two eggs last time we did this, but now we're not getting jack squat. There's the egg. All right, so let's do this. I just want to at least try to progress some way. Not to mention that, how are the kids really going to figure any of this shit out, to be honest? At no point does it actually uh, tell you anything you're supposed to do. Yeah, okay, there we go. We've got a password. And, and, and it kind of sucks that you have to do this every time you want to go in the, the time machine. Whatever, we got a steering wheel. I just want to go down and see if we actually at least go somewhere else. No. We still can't even change the thing. All right, I don't know, made no clue what's going on here. Like, we finished the level here, but we still keep going back there. We can't do anything else on the... Can we leave this area and go to the next thing? Is the stop sign gone? And the stop sign isn't even gone. Like, oh, this is just annoyingly frustrating. And you have to keep doing the exact same thing over and over and over. It's absolutely retarded. So with that being said, this is uh, Mario's Time Machine. I think we could leave it in the past and not bother with it ever again. All right, guys, till next time, thank you very much for watching. See you next one.